good day and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. In this video we're going to be taking a look uh, at how you can grind reputation for the Maruki Centaur. So we looked at the Iskara Tuskar and we're going to take a look at the Maruki Centaur. So to cut a long story short, uh, Renown obviously just to recap quickly is your reputation system now in Dragonflight and the Maruki Centaur are one of the slower but also easier grinds. Uh, they have very distinct methods through which you can improve their reputation. So let's just take a look at the Maruki Centaur and see what we kind of get for them. Uh, nothing too much. Your big one is unlocking Centaur hunting trophies at rank 2, which is pretty straightforward. Uh, you then can unlock some toys. You can unlock different upgrades, which will upgrade your companion that runs with you, which we'll take a look at. Uh, then there's Call of the Hunt, which is your overall account-wide reputation boost. Uh, some Drake Watcher scripts, and pretty much that's it. Uh, there's some increases to dragon supplies that you can get, to centaur hunting trophies that you can get. But the big ones are obviously, as always, the cosmetics uh, and basically uh, the hero's recognition at the end of the rank. Uh, leather workers will want to uh, go through to this faction because they carry the higher leather working recipes for crafting as well. Now let's talk about how you can grind reputation. So there's very few things, uh, but also a couple of things that you definitely can do. So the first one uh, and the easiest one is going to be the Camp A-Lag. So Camp A-Lag is a feature that you unlock uh, with the Maruki Center. And it's basically weekly quests, pretty much. Uh, I wanna say it's, 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 it's weekly quests, it unlocks at rank four, and basically you will get these quests here, and you can complete these quests, and they give quite a sizable amount of reputation. Uh, I think if you do all of them all together, I think it's about 600 or 700 reputation. Uh, and there's also some items which are great for gearing up your ults that you can do as well. So altogether, it's a pretty sizable amount of reputation, uh, around about, I want to say 750-700. So Camp A-Lag is obviously a fantastic source of quests, don't take too long, uh, and they're pretty easy. The next big source of reputation grind that you're going to have uh, is, well, it's pretty, how can I say? It's pretty grindy. Um, so basically the only real other, or the other really big method is to do the centaur hunts. So the centaur hunts can occur across the map. You'll see here the Maruki hunt spoils. These are grand hunts and you can get reputational rewards from these. Uh, every single stage you complete will give you 15 rep, which is not a lot. Uh, and every time you complete it, you will get a chest. Now that chest is super important because that chest will drop centaur war trophies, which are one of the big factors in determining your uh, increase of your renown with the Maruki Centaur. They're one of the very quick ways to increase your renown. You can see I have some here and we, we will cover that. Uh, but yes, basically you will have these grand hunts and you can join them, you can run them all the time. Uh, you can farm the stage rep consistently, but you can only get chest rewards three times a week. So if you're looking to farm the rep a lot, you're basically going to be stuck doing the stages. And since there's six stages per run, it's only about 100 reputation. It's really not that big. Um, it's not like the huge, it's not like the biggest amount of, uh, you know, reputation to get. But as you can see here, uh, obviously there's begin the hunt and you can talk to Scout Tomui. And yeah, you can start the hunt and then people on your server can join in. It begins a whole event. I'll just start this one. Uh, the great hunt has started and you basically get a whole bunch of these. And if you join in, you will get a reputation for the grand hunt and for the camp. Now, what you get out of the chest is usually a loot reward, a pretty good one for the first uh, clearance for the purple. You can see mine is at uh, blue, which means that this would be my second clear. Green will be your last and then afterwards you will no longer get rewards. Uh, and basically, yeah, 
uh, we can go and do that and then now if we head back to uh, the Anarian plans the other method uh, to get Centaur War Trophies is pretty mm, pretty difficult uh, so without speaking too uh, brazen about it uh, essentially the method is to kill rare and powerful mobs uh, this and these can spawn anywhere but they're quite infrequent in dragonfly it's not like back in the old day where mobs would just spawn all over the place uh things like doing this waterbound chest event here things like doing uh the rare mobs that pop up around the world those have a chance to drop you center war trophies and you can hand those in that's really the only other way to grind reputation uh, barring that world quests also count so for example if you look on your map and you can see a world quest that belongs to the maruki center that will also count and that's pretty much it when it comes to grinding their reputation uh, if you look on your map the quests for the maruki center are obviously labeled as such but they're a little bit few and far between I want to say they're not like the most common ones you pretty much only get them in their area if you look here you will see that there's not I think I have done most of them but there's not uh, a lot at all that you can do so it is a little bit difficult to get those done unfortunately and that's that is basically it. Uh, you can do world quests in the Anarian Plains. It will also net you uh, additional little bits of uh, reputation. But your big rep gain is actually going to be from handing in your Centaur War Trophies. By handing these in, if you hand in 20, you will gain 500 reputation, which you can see here. So that's kind of it. Uh, there's really not any other ways to kind of grind it, uh, barring those methods. Uh, like I said, some of the biggest perks are the uh, recipes that you get, the leatherworking recipes. But the one perk that I think everyone does enjoy is uh, the Ahuna Perch toy, which lets you spawn a portable male companion, which is pretty helpful, so to say. So pretty nice. Uh, I think overall a pretty cool gift. It does have a three hour cooldown, but quite frankly, it's probably the most useful uh, one that you can get. And yeah, that is that is literally it. So that's uh, the Maruki Center. Very straightforward. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any other ways uh, to grind their rep. But as far as I know, that's it. And yeah, obviously weekly quests, dungeon quests, things like that. Handing in your aiding the accord will also assist you. But yeah, that's pretty much it. But cool. See you guys next time. Until then, take care and bye.